Quantum tunneling is a phenomenon that occurs at the subatomic level, where particles can pass through barriers of energy that they theoretically shouldn't be able to cross according to classical physics. In simpler terms, particles like electrons or protons tunnel through an energy barrier, emerging on the other side as if they've bypassed the laws of physics. This process is key to many natural phenomena and technological advancements. For instance, in stars, nuclear fusion occurs because particles can tunnel through the repulsive forces between atomic nuclei, enabling the release of energy that powers stars. Additionally, modern technologies like semiconductors rely on quantum tunneling to function. In a microchip, electrons must tunnel through thin barriers to complete the flow of current, powering the devices we use daily. Imagine a particle appearing on one side of a barrier and, moments later, reappearing on the other side as if it had never encountered the obstruction in the first place. This process challenges our classical understanding of physics, suggesting that there are deeper, probabilistic forces at play in the universe. In a way, this mirrors how ideas seem to emerge unexpectedly from our subconscious, bypassing our conscious filtering systems. Just as particles tunnel through barriers in ways that defy classical logic, thoughts and insights often appear in our awareness in ways that feel sudden and mysterious. The subconscious mind operates much like an unexplored dimension of our consciousness, quietly storing vast amounts of information that influence our thoughts, decisions and behavior without our direct awareness. Much like quantum particles existing in a probabilistic state, our subconscious harbors thoughts, memories, and instincts that may not be immediately accessible to the conscious mind, but nonetheless shape our perceptions and actions. Carl Jung's theory of the collective unconscious suggests that beneath our conscious awareness lies a vast, shared reservoir of human experience, archetypes, and symbols that influence both individual and collective behavior. Neuroscientific research has further supported this concept, with studies showing that implicit memories and learned behaviors reside in the subconscious mind, affecting decision-making and problem-solving. Many times we experience creative breakthroughs or sudden solutions to problems seemingly out of nowhere. This phenomenon often occurs when we are in a relaxed state, such as when we are daydreaming, meditating, or even dreaming during sleep. The subconscious mind, like a hidden dimension, holds the key to these bursts of insight, which seem to tunnel through our conscious awareness into the light of day. Just as particles can tunnel through barriers, ideas may break through from this deeper, hidden layer of the mind revealing themselves as sudden realizations or moments of inspiration. One of the most fascinating parallels between quantum tunneling and human cognition is the process by which creativity allows ideas to leap from the subconscious into conscious awareness. In the same way that particles can tunnel through barriers and emerge on the other side, Creativity enables seemingly sudden insights to emerge after a period of subconscious incubation. Many great discoveries and breakthroughs have occurred in this manner, often when the mind is not consciously focused on the problem. Albert Einstein's aha moment of discovering the theory of relativity and August Kekulé's vision of the benzene ring are prime examples of how creativity seems to jump from one realm to another subconscious to conscious. This process suggests that ideas don't simply emerge through linear conscious thought, but rather leap from one state of awareness to another. States like flow, daydreaming, and even deep relaxation serve as gateways for these leaps, where the mind can freely oscillate between different levels of awareness, just as particles shift between states in quantum physics. When we allow our minds to wander or engage in activities that promote a relaxed state, ideas often appear out of nowhere, 
as if they've passed through a barrier from the subconscious realm into the conscious. This might suggest that creativity, much like quantum tunneling, involves a kind of non-linear connection between realms where the mind operates beyond the boundaries of linear time and space. The question of whether the brain exhibits quantum-like behavior in its processes has intrigued scientists and philosophers for decades. Recent theories suggest that the brain may indeed engage in quantum-level computations that allow for phenomena like the tunneling of ideas between the subconscious and conscious mind. One such theory is the orc or theory proposed by physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff, which posits that quantum processes occur in microtubules within brain cells. These microtubules are believed to support quantum coherence, enabling the brain to process information in ways that classical models cannot fully explain. This theory suggests that the brain's ability to process vast amounts of information may share similarities with quantum superposition, where multiple possibilities exist simultaneously until a definitive choice is made. In this sense, the brain may be able to process and consider different ideas or solutions in parallel, akin to how quantum systems can exist in multiple states at once. Furthermore, studies on decision-making have shown that subconscious processes often influence our decisions before we are consciously aware of them. In one experiment, participants showed brain activity associated with a decision up to seven seconds before they consciously made that decision. This timing difference suggests that the subconscious mind is already tunneling through possible decisions, selecting the most likely option before it surfaces in conscious awareness. This kind of quantum-like processing in the brain provides a compelling link between the subconscious and conscious domains, allowing ideas to tunnel from one state of mind to another. Understanding the interplay between quantum tunneling and the subconscious mind has profound implications for personal growth, creativity, and problem-solving. If we accept that ideas can tunnel from the subconscious into the conscious mind, it suggests that we have a vast, untapped reservoir of insights, creativity, and intuition at our disposal, waiting to emerge when we allow the mind to enter relaxed, open states. Practices like mindfulness, meditation, and even dream journaling can serve as tools to help access these subconscious insights. In fact, letting your mind incubate a problem or idea rather than forcing a solution can often lead to unexpected breakthroughs as the subconscious mind continues to work on the problem beneath the surface. Just as quantum computing holds the potential to simulate complex quantum processes, future advancements in AI and quantum technology could model or even harness this tunneling effect to simulate human creativity. By embracing the idea that our minds may operate beyond deterministic frameworks, we open ourselves to a more expansive view of consciousness, one in which creativity flows freely between dimensions, and we can access a deeper well of insight than we once thought possible. This quantum perspective on creativity and personal growth invites us to explore new ways of thinking, fostering a deeper connection with the subconscious and tapping into the infinite potential of our minds.